blend and read. Let's read the words on the first row together. Read them with me now. Gas. Sag. Gab. Bag. Big. What do you notice about the words in the first row? I notice that the first four words all have an A, A sound in the middle of the word. I also notice that all of the words have a G in them. Let's read the words on the second row together. Read them with me now. Fig, kit, kid, did, dad. What is different about some of these words in this row? Well, I noticed the last word has an A, A sound in the middle. But I noticed that the first four words have an I, I sound in the middle. I noticed that some of them start with F, some of them start with K, and some of them start with D. Let's look at the words in the third row. Read them with me now. Fan. Fans, wraps, rips, nip. Wow, I notice when I'm looking at the words in the third row that some of them mean one, like fan and nip, but some of them mean more than one, like fans, wraps, rips. Those three words have an S at the end, and that S means more than one. Like more than one fan is fans. Now let's look at the words in the fourth row. Read them with me. Gig, kin, gap, gaps, gasp. Wow, don't be tricked by the last three words in this row. I noticed that the third row, the third word says gap. The fourth word says gaps, which means more than one gap. But the last word says gasp, like <gasps> when you gasp for air. The difference in the last two words is where the P and the S are positioned. In gaps, it has a PS at the end. In gasp, it has an SP at the end. That's something to be aware of as I'm reading words. Let's look at the sentence in row five. Read it with me now. Nan has a bag of figs. Now let's read the sentence in row six. Kim has a big cab. Great job blending and reading words and noticing things that are the same and things that are different about words.